Hey, sorry I'm late. You are late, Tanika. You are yeah, late, Tanika. Yeah, I know. Tanika. I was on cleaning you duty today. You are late, Tanika. You are late, Tanika. You are late, Tanika. You are late, Tanika. Okay, you yeah, I get it. I'm Very sorry late, already. Tanika. Jeez. <laughs> Like, what are we gonna be doing today? We shall be doing nothing at all. Wait, really? I mean, okay. Guess I'll start my homework then. <laughs> Look at that freaking idiot out there! <laughs> he has no idea that right now he is addressing an utter fraud. Ueno number 13 is a fully realized, if not anatomically disappointing, fembot. This prototype has been customized into an Ueno style model and installed with an Otome circuit, which gives the fembot its feminine femininity. This makes the fembot perfect for addressing a wide range of essential needs, wink wink. I shall use number 13's Robo Wiles to stimulate Tonica's testosterone until he's finally ready for blast off. And then once his curiosity is in orbit, he's all mine! Her plan was now in motion. She watched and waited with hope in her heart that Tonica would realize that the Ueno at his side was simply a cybernetic counterfeit. He would spurn it and seek out the real thing. However... Ueno? Do you have an eraser? Negative. He accepts it as the real thing. That dumbass. <laughs> Never mind. Commencing camera operation. Yamashita, I'm gonna need support. Mm -hmm. Commence operation! Uh. <laughs> can I help you? Negative. If you say so. Uh, so, uh, if there's something wrong, you can just tell me. Executing offer gum protocol. Um, sure. Thanks, I guess. Tanika, I shall lay on your lap. What's wrong with you today? Come in, say, lay on lap. Fine. Allow Will me you to just execute chill out, okay? last city protocol. Hey, what's going on with your hair today? It's really stiff. Do not ask. Okay, sure, all right, whatever. Tanika, you shall stroke me. This isn't some kind of trap, is it? Tanika, stroke me. Tanika, all right, stroke relax. me. All right, relax. Tanika, stroke me. Tanika, stroke me. is making this awkward, though. It's kind of in the way. Oh, cool. How's that? Is this doing it for you or what? Affirmative. This is bad. Its Otome circuit appears to be overloading. At this rate. <laughs> Excuse me, boss, but could you two not do that in front of me? Mm -mm. Oh, junk. Bueno? I don't know if something happened or... Well, if anything's bothering you, you can always talk to me, okay? And if you don't feel comfortable talking to me, Yamashita's here for you too. Do you understand?
You won't believe this. A stray dog just wandered into class today and everybody freaked out. It was really cute. It was all fluffy and adorable. It was great. I wish we were allowed to have pets at home. Are you serious? You really want to have a pet? Yeah. I can grant such a wish. But first, you must educate yourself. Raising a pet brings with it various challenges and problems. Number one, the noise. Number two, health problems like allergies. And number three, a lightning of the wallet from acute lack of money. All of these problems have one root cause. Do you know what that is, Tanika? Uh, not really. Well, because it's a living creature. And that problem can be solved in one fell swoop by... The device you see now before you! The Summon Stat! This temporarily divides an object into the four cosmic elements. The addition of a plasma-based microstructural control mechanism during reconstitution grants it the same level of autonomous movement as a living, breathing creature. Put simply, this device can turn anything on Earth into a pet, even this eggplant. Whoop. First, we need a suitable item as a base. Try it on these tights. The tights again? Animating an object requires an external energy supply to be continually fed into it. And waste material produced by the human body is the ideal energy source. As such, clothes that have already been worn are therefore the easiest candidates for the petification. Why is everything we do here gross and weird? Now then, transform. Oh, tights of pre-worn goodness, rise before me! Switch on! <laughs> ah! <gasps> it seems the experiment was successful. Seeing as you are a monster created from tights, I shall dub thee Tamong. Come on. <sighs> Looks like he's already taken a liking to you. So what do you think? It feels like a pair of tights. That's all? That's what I said. Oh. Hey, Yamashita, let me touch it. Yes, hello, officer. I'm currently being sexually harassed. Oh, come on. Don't be so dramatic. I just want to hold it. Crime in progress. <laughs> that fool, he's fallen right into my trap. Its form may have changed, but tights are still tight. Any affection he shows to mom means he's loving up on my tights. Therefore, he is powerless before these statuesque legs of mine. You will fall before me and worship the ground I walk on. I have you now. You are but petty in my hands. Come on. Hey, Tamon, do you understand what I need from you here? Stick to the plan. Tamon. Tamon. Hey! <laughs> what the hell's your problem? Maybe it's kind of a natural instinct. Darn it! Work with me here, you stupid garment goblin! Tamon. Just go back to being tight! Well, hey, hold on! Are you seriously gonna kill it just like that? You make me sound like a heartless monster. But it's not like this thing is really alive. I'm just making it go back to the form it originally had, like unfolding origami. Aww, sure, but still. Come on. <sighs> All right, you two, listen up. I'm not looking after this thing, you understand? So you guys better take good care of it. Come on. All right! Ueno said it feeds on waste, right? Yamashita, could he have your sweat? Yes, officer, he's here right now. Turns out he's really attached to you, huh? It's just eating. It doesn't mean anything. Ugh. Mm -hmm. <sighs> 